These two gentlemen uh, um, joined us today as a guest of honor. Many thanks to them. And then we will be uh, going into the next lot, which is uh, each one of the artists uh, uh, will showcase their artworks and talk about uh, briefly about their painting and uh, you know their viewpoints. And then we will uh, have uh, Vikash is also a art consultant and curator. He will give uh, his uh, you know comments or anything suggestions he has to uh, about your artwork. And then we will move on. Uh, probably. This whole uh, uh, exhibition will last uh, around uh, two hours. Okay, this is an online opening, and but we have uh, tomorrow we will have a physical exhibition at uh, Double Tree by Hilton Bay Square Business Bay. It's like a display because of the current ongoing restrictions. Uh, we are opening in online. It's a soft opening here on online, and then we will be showcasing. After this, we will promoting uh, all artists' works uh, in our uh, channels, different mediums and channels. Okay. So let's go back, go to um, the slides, and I will briefly talk about Art Smiley. So about us, actually, you know, many of you know, uh, those who are not uh, known, Art Smiley was uh, established uh, almost, this is uh, um, 2016, December, we re uh, registered a business in operation since 2017. Our actually main, uh, um, you know, how we come to Art Smiley is actually, we have a strong desire and love towards art. And uh, we have personally been experienced a uh, lot of emerging artists struggling to showcase their work and market their artwork uh, and connecting with the right people. And uh, a lot of them are, uh, you know, giving art as a profession and going away into different uh, um, platforms, different um, uh, mediums they're working. So this uh, something, uh, you know, we felt sad and, uh, you know, as being an art lover, I want to do something for the community. And that's where uh, we, me, myself and Aruna, we both are the co-founders of this business. Uh, we established uh, Art Smiley. So we are into uh, fourth year of operations. Basically we do both online and offline. Um, so the platform is a, a multi-sided online platform which connects both artists and art buyers 24 by seven. Uh, you, know, you know, artists can uh, register their profiles from their studios, sitting in their studios and art buyers can buy it uh, anywhere. Uh, world uh, sitting you know the artwork can be delivered to their doorsteps so this is one platform uh, you know where we have a, uh, almost 1300 registered artists and from over 50 countries today what we have in the platform and more than 4000 uh, pieces of artworks collection showcased uh, this is one side we also serve b2b sector uh, you know especially a lot of interior designers or property developers we work with uh, supplying uh, uh, paintings to them so we have a multi-dimensional uh, platform that represents both uh, business to customers and uh, business to business as well. So what is our mission in this? Why, as I said, uh, you know, everything we start, we have a goal. Uh, and our goal and our long mission, uh, you know, it's something we want to achieve with the Art Smiley is to make art more affordable and accessible to all communities and uh, provide a viable career to artists, you know. We want to preserve uh, the talent of art from, it's, it's not everybody. I mean, if I decide I want to do painting, maybe I can do it, but I will not be a, as professional as many other artists you are. Uh, but it is something uh, uh, inhibitant, like, you know, it come with, uh, by bone, with the passion they have and many things it involves. We want to preserve, uh, you know, each and every uh, part of the world we have artists coming into, uh, we want to preserve the culture uh, and uh, the diversity they're bringing into this platform. So this is where, uh, uh, you know, Art Smiley in the long run, we want to provide this artist a viable career and also make art. Uh, today, art is only for some collectors and otherwise uh, some decorators, they go for a normal print work. We want to make this original artwork reach out to the every home so that, you know, uh, we make it artist for everybody. I mean, this also reminds me, you know, uh, a, a famous uh, quote by Pablo Picasso, as he said, uh, art washes away from the soul the dust of everyday life. I mean, there's a lot of meaning in it. You know, art is just more than a decorative thing. It's, it's very personal. It will be uh, a very motivational thing. It, you know, it can be many things, uh, you know. It's personally, you know, when I'm stressed out, you can look at my backside, a painting is also showcased. It's, it's uh, you know, a, a, a beautiful imagination and something you really take the pressure off and, you know, you get yourself uh, relaxed and looking at the art. This has that much uh, power. So we want to reach this uh, uh, power into every home and uh, every household. Uh, so, and every part of the businesses, we want to provide this uh, culture and diversity. And so that's what we're all about also today, we're going to showcase our artworks. Uh, okay. 
So as I already mentioned, the key services uh, we provide to both uh, B2B and B2C are mainly we sell original artworks. This is our main thing. And we also do art prints and a replica of uh, original artworks in a limited edition as a limited edition prints. And we provide art rentals. This is a great tool. Uh, we are going to be taking it very seriously, this tool art rentals uh, for the you know, B2B sector because a lot of customers who want to decorate their walls on a regular basis, uh, but unfortunately, they don't have a, a certain tools they can utilize or a certain products they can use it. Other than going into standard uh, print arts, uh, you know, we are pro want to provide the original artwork of their favorite artwork can be decorated on their walls. Even it's also for those customers, example, you know, somebody didn't decide what they want to buy it, but they can uh, rent this artwork and feel it on in their walls and feel comfortable and they can buy it. So there is a lot, a lot more advantage. It can reach out to the buyers through art rentals. And we also do private uh, commissions and art consulting services. These are some of our key services, what we offer to our clients. Okay. So now I will uh, introduce uh, our guest of honors, uh, um, Mr. Vipul Malhan. Uh, thank you, Vipul, for joining us. Uh, it's a great honor uh, to be uh, inviting uh, you, know, you into this um, exhibition. And really, uh, we are very, very heartful. Uh, thanks to you. Uh, accepting on a immediately at the one phone call uh, and i'm really pleasure to see you here you know as uh, mr ripple uh, he is an expert uh, um, you know in banking sector he has over di you know di he has a diversified uh, experience uh, in the banking from different fields but last 22 years uh, in this industry working in multinational organizations and varied geographic boundaries reflecting record breaking performance in uh, private banking investment solutions for institutional and family offices, and retail and wealth management, SME finance and office automation. These are some of the you know, uh, areas uh, he's been expert, uh, especially he's currently working with Emirates uh, uh, NVD Bank. So almost quite a number of years he's been there. Before uh, you know, into coming into the uh, banking sector, he also educated uh, from St. Stephen's College in uh, Delhi, uh, his bachelor's degree and also holds an MBA from SP Jain, and he also a double uh, gold medalist as well. So a brilliant shop and, uh, and a, a brilliant guy. You can see his diversified experience talks about himself. Uh, I mean, other than uh, his uh, professional cred credentials, we also have uh, a good attachment with Mr. Whipple because Whipple is our one of our customers. You know, he's an art lover and uh, art collector. So he's purchased uh, uh, quite a number of paintings from us as well. Now I will... Um, Ask uh, now. Just I will be introducing uh, um, Mr. Ripple. Can you please uh, talk about uh, a few words, and then we go introduce our uh, next guest as well. Thank you, Lord. I just hope that you can hear me. Just yes, correct yes, me. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So thank you for the very kind introduction. Um, of course, uh, needless to say that uh, I'm so happy to see the real people behind the art. I I have been. Uh, buying uh, a lot of pieces uh, through the site, a very, very friendly site. And uh, I'm not an art collector and I'm, so to say, a banker, a private banker. And one of the things that we learn in private banking is alternative investments. So one of the alternative investments is uh, art, as you would know. Real estate is one of them. Art is one of them. And, uh, you know, and these are alternative investments because Gold prices can go up or down. Uh, the stock prices can go up and down. But art is something which every person who buys art has, uh, you know, if he likes it, he is willing to pay anything for it. And if it brings you a smile, then, uh, you know, you hold it for as long as you want it. So I didn't know anything much about art, to be very honest. Uh, though, you know, we have many curators, many artists who do come and pitch in their artwork to the private bank for clients to buy, uh, but I'm not in that business. I was shifting my house, I was changing my house, and uh, I realized that I need to fill up my walls with some beautiful paintings. Went to this beautiful website, uh, was able to see themes. So it had thematics, it had uh, locations, it had uh, art types, and uh, I wouldn't really know much about the artists as well, but what I knew is what I like, and what is it that I don't like? So I wanted a, you know, a particular wall to be having something to do with uh, you know, a scene, a scenario, a, a calming, photo, a calming uh, artwork. 
and I approached uh, Art Smiley. Uh, it was, uh, you know, sent to me. It was from another region. I think it was from Palestine, if I remember. It was sent to me, couriered to me beautifully. After that, uh, that's when, you know, I awakened my senses. The next piece of art was from India. Uh, again, it was uh, specially, uh, you know, sent out from India and rolled in a beautiful uh, package. And I loved it so much that I had to buy another third artwork. And the third artwork came from London, from UK. Uh, I liked it so much that I had to buy the fourth one, which came from Iran. So just imagine a person who doesn't really understand art. Uh, and I'm buying, you know, uh, as, as listed by uh, these artists. I don't have a clue of the background of the artist and neither do I really bother because it's what I would want to put on my wall. And trust you me, uh, I've had many visitors, some of my clients, and every piece of art has been appreciated. And I give the full credit to Art Smiley, to Lourdes, for ensuring that the message goes to uh, the, 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 the person who's done the art, uh, the artist, that it is the most beautiful thing that I have in my house. There are so many people, and I can vouch for it, who just you know, come to my house and the first thing they realize or notice is the artwork on my wall. Uh, and they want to take a photograph. They said, this is amazing. Can we take a photograph? I said, no, I'm sorry. Anything else is okay. I will not allow you to take a photograph because I do not want the artist for, you know, the, the artwork to be copied anywhere. Uh, if you have any interest in this, you can contact uh, Art Smiley. They will be more than happy to get you in touch with the artist. And uh, maybe, you know, there are very similar pieces that he can draw for you uh, or, you know, cure for you. Uh, so this is by experience, a uh, very friendly website. If you go through it, uh, delivery is amazing. The way it comes to you is amazing. He, in fact, even suggested to me what type of frame I need to put for an art, uh, that this is a frame that will look nice. This is a frame that, you know, you should avoid. What is the color of the frame? So overall, for a person who doesn't understand art like me, I would have spent thousands of dollars to, to get this art and uh, it becomes a part of my daily life. It is a thing that I would want to enter my house to see this beautiful artwork. And people ask me, what does it mean to you? Uh, you know, because it has a theme. Uh, the, the, all the artworks have a theme. One has a circle of life. One is the journey of life. Uh, you know, one, one has, uh, uh, you know, the blessings uh, of, uh, of an angel. So everything has a theme to it. And every person, you know, treats it with a different kind of a theme. So the theme that is there from the artist is not necessarily the theme that the person who's viewing it is, uh, is imagining. So look at the beauty of this, uh, you know, of this uh, artwork. I highly recommend uh, Art Smiley to a lot of uh, you know people who are looking at uh, uh, you know collecting art or curing art or don't understand art. And I'm so glad that I can see the beautiful artworks behind each one of you. I've been just seeing the beautiful artworks that I can see, whether it's a horse or it's a beautiful scenario, scenery at the background. It it's it's just so pleasing. And uh, thank you very much, uh, Lord. This is one of my best investments. I don't care about the monetary part of it, but uh, thank you for inviting me and uh, thank you to all the artists. Thank you, Apple. I mean, it's uh, so kind of you and uh, you know, I'm really happy that, uh, you know, you're enjoying what you purchased and uh, you see that, uh, you know, it, it's, it's giving you immense pleasure. That's, that's the main part of it. I can say you are showcasing, I can see that. You know, like, like, like you, I mean, we try and ensure that every customer is a, a, a happy customer and a returning customer as well for us. Uh, and uh, thank you for kind words. Uh, and it gives uh, a lot, uh, you know, this means a lot to artists because, you know, I, I, buying an art is one thing and, uh, you know, love and the passion towards keeping that art and, you know, in continuing it in the walls is much better, the, you know, much bigger thing. So thank you again. I appreciate it once again for joining us and sharing some few good words. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. So we have our uh, another uh, uh, guest. Uh, he is uh, 
Mr. Vikash Kumar. Um, Vikash, I mean, it's a long story to short, actually. Vikash is uh, traveling with us uh, since beginning of the Arts Miley. Um, I mean, I would say he's one of our um, early, um, you know, part of the guy who was involved from the day we are designing our platform until today he's supporting us in every aspect where he can okay and um, other side of professionally he holds a master's degree in arts and aesthetics and with over 12 years of experience working with the national and international galleries museums art schools around the world it's not just alone in india but he worked in italy and many other countries he's been continuously uh, doing his job in art. He worked as a, a visiting faculty for Academy of uh, Brera, Milan and Delhi University. Also worked as a curator for National Gallery of Modern Art, uh, Delhi, India Art Fair, etc. And uh, his you know, last role, he's currently working with uh, FIKI, uh, Federation of uh, Indian uh, Chamber of Commerce, uh, um, Industry Chamber of Commerce India. So he's been a senior assistant director there. And uh, as I said, uh, um, Vikash is actually a uh, be part of Art Smiley and uh, he's going to be take more active role uh, in the coming uh, months. And uh, we've been um, uh, very helpful and supportive. And uh, as I said, he has plenty of experience around the world, you know, talking to many artists and as a jury member, as a curator and uh, as a consultant. So he's been always uh, helpful for us all throughout the journey. Vikash, many thanks uh, uh, for joining us. And, uh, you know, I'm really thankful, uh, you know, I, I, my heartfelt, uh, you know, thanks to you, uh, you know. So please uh, share your experience yeah. and you know, some words to all our community who joined us today. Yeah. Sure. Uh, I thank you, Lute, for this general introduction. So uh, I'm very thankful to coming over here for this interaction with the artist and Lute, especially with you. After four, I think we have started this like five years ago, this conversation and lessons a bit art smiley. So, and I was very moved by the reason Lourdes wanted to start this platform. So I have been in this industry from last 14 years or so, working with several national and international platforms. Started so many organizations, now they are flourishing. But when I heard, and I have seen also downfalls also, I have seen so many organizations who wanted to come, jump into the sector, while the art market was on boom. And then they have fall flat because there was no vision behind that. But when I heard from Lourdes that, okay, he wanted to start some organization called Art Smiley. And basically it's not a platform where he wants to create or promote only artists who are well-known in the market or only to reach out to those clients who are actually served by the galleries or auction houses. So basically his reason was to like penetrate into the common people, art for the art sake and art for the common people. And also a, a bigger platform where artists from across the globe can come on board, share their works with the people. And also people across the globe, who art lovers across the globe can come and join that platform, see those things. So when we started in 2016, so we did, we did a very decent like start selective artists maybe starting with 10 artists and within a few months it has grown to hundreds and now recently when Luth was giving me the figure that oh now we have 1300 artists on this platform registered across the globe so oh my god so you have got a very good number and I, I keep browsing the website and I see how the website has been innovatively designed like if if a person who wants a, such kind of artwork, let's say he wants a landscape or figurative or abstraction, so he can just go into that section. Even the price point wise, even, even the size wise, even the medium wise, whether it's an oil work or he wants a paper work or it's a print work or photography or digital or multimedia work, it's a very innovatively designed platform he has created. And the number, of course, safe. And I just heard like Mr. Vipul how he was talking about this Art Smiley platform and his association, how he has been like continuously buying one by one artwork. So actually that this platform gives you such a confidence when you buy one artwork, then you slowly, slowly you gain that confidence with the way they handle the client, the way they pack it back the artwork, the, the, the duly care of the artwork and then the, handle the, handling the artwork. 
So artwork is not only the creation of the artwork, it's a whole journey. It's a journey from the artist studio to collector's wall or collector's space. So if a person who understands the entire journey, like by the rule book, basically, if you say, and understand the value of each of the processes very well, which Root does, as I see. So it actually creates a kind of confidence among the people. And the other thing I wanted to point it out here, during this current time where people are seeing the, uh, people are projecting, it's a, maybe it's a bad time or maybe it's a, of course they are like, it's a tough time, but art is always driven by passion. First is the passion, then after comes the business of art. So everything comes after that. So people who are actually like involved in this like creative process, they are driven by passion and business of art is of course necessary and people are doing this. So it's not that the, if I talk about the market, market has obviously when we have been analyzing the market during the like initial days of pandemic, we keep doing surveys and research in this area. So of course, from the March till June, like quarter, the first quarter, it was very tough. When in like post July, when things have in the different parts of the world, things have started opening up slowly, slowly. Uh, then I, we have seen that if you have noticed the auction house result in the last few months, especially in August and September, when Christie's does the uh, bigger auction, online auction house, and 94% of auction stuff has gone in that online auction house, uh, auction sales. And even in India, we recently had an uh, auction called Pandola's auction in 10th of August, we, uh, 10th of September, recently we did that auction. And you won't believe like VS Gaitonde's work has been sold. It was a record-breaking price by any Indian artist artwork. It was sold for 34.5 crore rupees, like around 15 million USD. So the, if the buyers said that I have actually gained the confidence in the markets, not, not that like it was a period, a quarter of a period where people were actually looking at the space like what would be the future of this area? And, and the second thing I wanted to tell you, to share with you, if you all are aware that art market, if you relate with the other sector, as you see entire, entire like market business is affected, but art is like proportionally, we have been analyzing it like related to the real estate. So the, the moment real estate boom happens, the moment real estate demand is there, art will be there. And the real estate and the interest in development is never going to stop. It can become a little bit up and high, uh, up and low, but it cannot get stopped at, like, at any point of time. So that's how, when the real estate is, market is in demand and the artwork will be in demand. So this is, the, I'm just talking about the brighter side. So you guys like artists, and we are also practitioners of art. We curate exhibitions, we are, administrators. So we never get driven by this like a small a period of lull, like because we have witnessed the recession period of 2006-7 when the entire global financial crisis came in. But within few months or maybe a year, maximally a year in 2008 onwards, we have again seen the growth in the market and in the progression of growth continue till 2020. Like 12 years, year on year or growth, we have seen like currently the entire like global art market stands on around 65 billion dollar. So and we have never seen from 2008 till 20 there is negative growth in the art market. So even if we say it in 2021, there will be a little price correction. Some of this who we are actually doing using the physical space or doing a lot of promotional activities in the building more infrastructure, they can become a little like uh, slower, but on the digital space, there are enough opportunity people are having. And thankfully, this like pandemic has given time, people to, uh, enough time to people think, do research, go digital, do more like online surveys and all. People have actually started comparing things and then buying. So the, the confidence in the market has not gone down. So people are still buying and people will buy. Art is always being appreciated and that will continue. So I think that's it from my side. So I'll keep contributing.
as and when required. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Thank you, Vikash. I mean, there are good insights. Uh, I have to tell you, uh, every audience as well here, uh, in the last quarter, you know, online market has a growth of 150%, uh, you know, compared to the previous year. That tells you that, I mean, this is not the number I am telling, it's the, it's the statistics uh, being released uh, by Statistica. And uh, there are other uh, well-known uh, art, um, you know, art data centers are there. This has been released. So even though traditional art market like that is traditional art galleries are suffering because of the pandemic and no movements, uh, you know, there are a lot of them are shifting to online art market. And so this means uh, the future is bright, even though we see that small drop, but it's going to be grow uh, much faster in the online sector. So thank you, Vikash. Uh, thanks for your uh, kind words and, uh, you know, good insights into that. And we will uh, keep you asking for uh, any references in the later stage of the show. Thank you. Uh, so now I will be coming into the main part of uh, the exhibition. Actually, it's a great opportunity for all of our uh, artists, uh, you know, to talk about their paintings, you know, what they did and how, what is their uh, viewpoint on this and what's motivated them. It's, it's, uh, it's a great opportunity to showcase yourself. All the artists, we have 25 artists originated from 13 countries. Uh, so just, we will be presenting each one of them. We will have a brief, uh, um, you know, overview of the artists and the profile, and then uh, the artists will talk about their artwork. So I will be introducing uh, Mr. Anjani Prakash Laitu. Um, he's a well-known and uh, known artist uh, in the UAE art market. Uh, whoever know art in UAE, they will be uh, very familiar with uh, Mr. Laitu. He's been a uh, uh, tremendous, uh, you know, passion, uh, passion in art. At this age, he's still continuing. He love colors. Everything what you do from his uh, you know, clothing to his artwork is all about colors and you know, spreading the happiness. Uh, and that's what is main uh, key. You know, he's been inspired by the black lines of uh, Mr. Rema Hussein's paintings. Anjaniji always uh, completes his canvases with the color black. And his main purpose of the painting is to spread the happiness. As I mentioned, happiness is happiness. You know, happiness not only just in art, in, uh, as a human being, you know, be happy yourself and that'll keep you motivated and keep you away from all the kinds of diseases. And I can tell you that and I'm trying to practice and learn something from Anjaniji on this. Now we will showcase uh, uh, his artwork. I'm just, uh, Aruna, can you? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, Anjani ji, you can uh, you can showcase the uh, you can talk about your artwork, please. Mm. And good afternoon. My name is Anjani Prakash Laitu. Uh, more I known as Anjani Light Uncle in uh, circles by all these boys and girls around. And I paint abstract mostly, but uh, sometimes uh, for particular theme. I'm working like this painting which I am showcasing today. This I have done last year for celebrating the year of tolerance by UAE government. And I, I like the theme because it is something, some different idea by any government pr promoting something for society. So that's why I painted this. Generally, I this is not my subject. I don't paint. Uh, is relative. Mostly it is sub mostly it is abstract and uh, yeah. I I was I am in UAE for the last 24 years exhibiting painting and exhibiting uh, here in India, Jaipur, Bombay, Nepal, whatever I would get time. I'm eight years around. And I don't have much energy to run around, but still, I for painting I spare some five five to six hours a day. And during this pandemic period, uh, from February to today, I have completed my sixty-five canvases uh, during this pandemic period, mostly abstract. And. Uh, Taking part, uh, most of my work, latest work, will be showcasing in uh, World Art Dubai uh, from 8. And anything you want to know about my work or anything about me, you can call me also. You can tell, ask me here also. 
Any anything anybody? Sure. Uh, I mean, it's it's a great uh, you know feeling, and uh, I can imagine uh, you know at 80 years uh, there's uh, a lot more uh, you know effort and passion you have that we know it. Uh, Vikash, do you have say something you want to say, Vikash? Yeah, I just wanted to know the medium of these works. How to, what are the medium of these works? Uh, sir, I paint uh, mostly in acrylic on canvas, but I, I have done a lot of work on uh, textile. I had been a textile designer also. I've done a lot of uh, textile painting and still today also I'm making uh, textile. In between, for a change, uh, I go to textile and uh, apart from textile, I have done pottery also. I have painted pottery also. That I, For the last 25 years, I'm doing this only after my retirement. I, I'm not, I have no other responsibilities for that wood. Only painting is my pastime and uh, for which I am devoted. Okay, wonderful, sir. That's great, Anjaniji. I mean, uh, we know you very well, and I, I see, you know, every day you post us, uh, you know, your textile, you know, uh, stuff, you know, it is going around your designs onto the textiles. It's beautiful, amazing. Today, also, I've seen one. Uh, and keep continuing and do the same work, and I'm sure, uh, you know, uh, we all inspire from you. Thank you, Anjaniji. Thank you very much, everybody. So now I'll be introducing uh, uh, Mr. Ahmad Aladin. Uh, he's a Lebanese artist born in Beirut, uh, working as an art teacher in UAE. He's been, uh, you know, participated uh, back in home with many exhibitions and the art is his passion and his life. And I seen his uh, Arabian horses, it's beautiful. I have to say that it's amazing works uh, done by Mr. Ahmad uh, and fantastic work. and. We will also be showcasing uh, tomorrow at Hilton as well. And uh, he loved, you know, Arabian culture and especially, you know, UAE traditionally seen as a symbol uh, of chivalry, nobility and pride. And now we will be um, introducing Mr. Ahmad uh, to talk about his work and a few words and, you know, his inspiration behind this work. Yeah. Hi, how are you? How's everyone? First of all, I would like to thank you for this great opportunity of letting me participate in this event. Uh, I'm, I'm very happy. Uh, my name is Ahmad al -Adin. I'm a Lebanese artist uh, born in Beirut, 1974. Uh, I studied fine arts in Lebanese University. Uh, I did uh, many art exhibitions back home. I did many schools, uh, many art, different types of art. Uh, but at the end, I find in school and university, I was attracted to the Arabian horses. So I decided my mural should be about the Arabian horses through the history of art since, let's say, cave uh, era till the uh, modern art time. And the, my mural was also about horses. So the Arabian horses fascinated me a lot. So that's, it's a majestic animal. And as you, uh, as you, as you said, it's a symbol of chivalry, pride, nobility, and it's related to the Arabic culture. And I believe it's related to all the cultures all over the world throughout the history. So, as you see, the, my, my paintings are uh, basically horses, but also I have another interest. I draw lots of women also uh, in different movements as the horse. I would like to share with you but uh, some of my paintings, which I have a lot, trust me, back home and here. Uh, the, the camera will move a little bit. Sorry for this. This is uh, one painting I will participate in. It's a Arabian white horse. And over there, over here, I have mural of, I think, Morocco. And over here, I have these two pieces. I'm going to participate, inshallah, tomorrow. Oh, and this is one of my favorite paintings, it's uh, Arabian stud, but the background it's gold plated, a uh, gold leaf. I used gold leaf to paint. As you see, my house is full of paintings. Paintings are everywhere. 
on the walls. I don't have places anymore. I don't have under the bed. Everywhere I have paintings. So art is passion. And I'm head of art department in uh, one of the schools in UAE. I teach upper grades. And I let them see the passion. I, I, I have... I teach the, the girls that art is not only about paint, it's all about imagination, creativity, and innovation, which is very important for us these days in the 21st century learning. And uh, any question, I'll be happy to answer you guys. Again, thank you for this great opportunity. This is my second exhibition here in UAE since 20 years. I did the first exhibition around 15 years. In, uh, French Culture Cultural Center in Abu Dhabi. That's my second is in Dubai. I have many collectors from sheikhs, uh, the IPs, they purchase my paintings. Uh, I'm happy to share my art with you guys. It's really something beautiful when you being your work being appreciated. It's not only for yourself as an artist, for people to appreciate it. That's the goal, to feel happy while watching and looking at the painting. It has to touch somebody's feeling. That's what makes me happy and feeling like, okay, I did something, I, I succeed. If any question, I'll be happy to answer. Yeah, Mr. Rikas, do you have any queries? Or anybody else you have queries, you can ask, please. Yeah, it's, it's not a quick question, but just a compliment for your work. Like, and the reason basically we are talking about, so art is a passion, and you teach your students to, like, walk in the, that mode, not not for the final product, what they paint and what they create. Basically, it's a passion and the imagination, what you think and what you want to paint. And the secondly, your work, like, I really like the anatomy of those like horses. So in the movement, like many of the younger people, younger artists, horse has become a favorite like topic for the younger students I have seen in college. But they tend to miss those like when they paint horse in a in a movement movement like posture position. So they tend to miss those like anatomical. Uh, they put in an imbalance mode. So where I, where I see there the mastery of the, your stroke and how you imagine and how you deal with the anatomy. It's really interesting to see. Thank, thank you for sharing our work. Thank you, Mr. Vikas. Thank you. Thank you a lot. It's really meaning, meaningful to me, what you have just said. I appreciate it. Thank you, uh, uh, Vikas, and thank you, uh, Ms. Aladdin. So thank I'll you. be introducing uh, um, Ms. Abir Alad Al. Adani. Adani. Sorry if I uh, wrongly spelled it because first time I'm seeing some of the names. So. Sorry for it. Uh, she's an Iraqi artist based in Dubai, UAE. Uh, Ms. Abir is a self-taught artist who started drawing at the early age. She received great support from her family to strengthen her passion in art through the yearly activities uh, and workshops. So the artist is inspired by her attraction toward the culture of home country, Iraq, customs, beauty of women, happiness, and suffer, which takes her to another level of inspirational creativity. And that is reflecting clearly on her choice of artwork and the selection of artwork uh, she's going to showcase. I mean, this is a great words. I would say a lot of the artists, uh, you know, they inspire by their surroundings and what they're doing in their lives. And it's, it's an amazing feeling to put that uh, feelings into an art. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to see and uh, hear uh, Ms. Abira. Please uh, take the page. Actually, she's not available. I will go through the artworks, okay? Yeah, please, okay. She's not there. Yeah, okay, she's exhibiting actually Iraqi culture artworks. This is watermelon. This fruit is, I think, in Iraqi culture, it is very important. So that is why this artwork is here. And the other one is it's all everything it represents Iraqi culture and how they dressed and how the people will be there. It is like that. You can see from the picture, she's looking like confused. And I will go with the other artwork. And this represents fish fish market in Iraqi culture. Like two sisters went for it, I think they are going to sell it. And next, the other one is old door. This yeah, is also different. Different. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. I think that's it. All of these are her works. Okay. Right. Thank you, Aruna. Uh, now we'll be introducing uh, Miss Sahar Musli. Sahar Musli was born in uh, Damascus, Syria, and uh, she became British citizen since she moved with her family to London, you know, UK in 1977. So she paints oil and canvas. Uh, in 2006, uh, 16 onwards, she started developing love for uh, mandals. Uh, mandals are symbolic pictures of universe. The mandala rep represents an imaginary pa pa palace that is uh, contemplated during meditation. Uh, the dotting is a very calming exercise that was originated in Australia by the Aborigine people. Okay. I mean, I, I get it. Uh, other than reading it, I understand that it's, uh, it's, it's again, uh, you know, very spiritual and the kind of, you know, um, what you call uh, developing mandalas is, you know, in also in Indian, uh, sp you know, spiritual, uh, we know about mandalas, uh, you know, this is very, very, very symbolic and talking about universe and peace, you know, uh, how you imagine and represent while you're doing the yoga, yoga and meditation. These are sim some of the stuff. We, we, we listen and we see it every day. And I'm looking forward to hear from uh, Ms. Sahar talking about the work, sir. Is she here, Aruna? Yes, yes. Yeah, she's joining. Yes, Sahar, go ahead. Yeah, you can, you can uh, showcase, ma'am. I think you're on mute, you're on mute. Yeah, can you unmute and the talk? Can you, can you hear me now? Yes, yes ma'am, better, better. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for the introduction, and I see that you actually know a lot of, uh, about Mandala. I know that. I'm fascinated by it because of what it represents. It, uh, it, it, it is the universe. It's each Mandala and each, each yeah. little piece of the Mandala represents the, the thoughts of the, of the person who is creating it. It creates peace. It's uh, it's a way of decessing, relaxing. It actually helps uh, the the ordinary person to become enlightened. I, I find life in. I mean, when I when I sit and do that, I feel very happy. I, f I forget the world, and uh, I wish everybody can can practice that, can feel that. I wish we can teach the children to focus more through doing mandala instead of watching TV. They, it, it helps them to, uh, to develop the eye-hand coordination, the motor skills. I, I love it. It's a beautiful art. I am proud of Syria and Damascus and where I came from. I will turn the camera a little bit and I will show you to start with uh, a painting from Damascus, all Damascus, and then some of the mandalas I have for you today. This is, this is the, my old Damascus, if you can see it there. I am proud of Syria and Damascus and where I came from. I will turn the uh, is, uh, That is the uh, a piece of the, that's old Damascus. And then this is one of the mandalas I did. And it is an Islamic, Islamic kind of mandala, Islamic designs. Um, Everything about mandala is in the being symmetrical in the design, in the in the, the accuracy of the, the dotting. Um, it's the, I mean, for a change, maybe I try to insert different colors to make it happy, to make it have the feel of happiness and the movement. Um, I, I was another another one. I'll show you. This is. My interpretation of the Milky Way, that's how I saw it. I don't know if it... Yeah, that's good, Ms. Saha. You can go ahead, please. Okay. Uh, and I saw it going round and round. And it, I don't know. It's the feeling how I see the Milky Way, our world, our universe. And uh, I will, I'll show you another one. Uh, I have to be quick. I try to change the background from black to white. And this is the black hole. It's, uh, and I used as well some crystals to give it the shine and the shimmer. Because it's on white. Uh, I think. Can I 
And then I did some dotting on the acrylic wash. Yeah. Uh, there are plenty actually, and uh, I will be I'll be exhibiting tomorrow in the physical in the physical uh, exhibition, and uh, maybe I'll have a chance to show them better in a better way. Sure. This is the evil eye, or what they call it, the blue eye. It's the the Turkish way of designing the evil eye. And yeah. uh, I did it uh, in dotting. It is kind of a mandala, but it's uh, the evil eye as well. Uh, this is the kind of Eastern Arabic uh, design. Uh, I don't know how, yeah. how much time I have, but uh, if, uh, if yeah, you... I mean uh, they, we we understand the concept, and uh, you know they're really uh, very very nice works. I can see you know the dots in that. You know when I used to do meditation, I put a dot on my wall, but I can you know put in this <laughs> painting in front of me, and I do it because in India we do normally uh, very common uh, practice. Some of the families we do meditation, uh, and it's beautiful artwork. You're very very symbolic, and uh, Vikas, do you have some words to say? Yes, and um, this is I did some abstract, and then on top of it, I did the the dotting and some metallic uh, lines and uh, drawing. Sure. Thank you very much, uh, and for giving me the opportunity. I'm very happy to be part of this exhibition, and I see that the future is online, and we are part of the future. I hope uh, sure. I'll be uh, participating, as I said, in the exhibition tomorrow and thank you very much i ho i mean i'm looking forward to meet all of you thank you thank you Vasana. thank you very much it's very nice paintings mrs shahar actually very nice ones thank you so much thank you for thank you. thank you for inviting me thank you Vikash, would you like to say anything or can i go ahead yeah just just one liner on this work. yes please so this mandala, like uh, we, like in India, it's very famous. Like uh, if you know about Syed Hadar Raza, which is one of the progressive artists, and who has practiced for decades on the on this series, and is like worldwide known artist. And when I see these works, basically it's a kind of meditative process when you actually try to go into your soul searching. Like it's it's an essence of artwork making. So it's a true essence of artwork making when you want to traverse the journey within yourself. That's why how you start with a single point, a single dot, and then you move around with the entire creation of cosmos around that. So it's really like enriching to see such practice in, in, in this contemporary art like trend where a lot of like multimedia innovations are there and people are playing with different techniques and but still like seeing this is really fulfilling and enriching for us. Uh, thank you for this. Yeah, they are very, very beautiful works. I mean, it's a lot of time, and I can imagine how much uh, you know effort it goes in each one of those. They're beautiful works. <laughs>